The Midwest's largest youth hockey organization, the Northern Illinois Hockey League, is teaming up with the Blackhawks veteran team, the Chicago Warriors, for a great cause. This Sunday's event is definitely for hockey fans, but it's also about honoring our veterans. And here with more on all of this is Bob Apter and Adam Lindemann. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Okay, so let's first talk about this event. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're in charge of all the leagues, Bob. Yep. Uh, how did this you know, event come about? Well, it started a few years ago. When I took over as president about eight years ago, we changed our contract to sign with the Blackhawks. And when we signed with the Blackhawks, we tried to replicate some of the stuff they did. So we started by honoring the veterans. At each game, we have 20-some different championships down at Joliet Inwood with all the different levels and all the teams. So we started by honoring the veterans, and I can see the pin that we used yes. to give out during the anthem. And then we uh, started... When we had an open spot, because we run out the ice for two weekends, we would do championship games, and then between them we did uh, sled hockey, and then we did uh, a couple years ago a veterans game. And then we didn't have enough ice the last couple years, but now this year for the first time ever, in what I'll call the greatest youth sports hockey event in American history, the Blackhawks hosted six of our championships at the United Center, which freed up a couple slots to host the veteran game, so we decided that we could really make a big deal out of it. We've been going to all the VFWs, trying to get attendance. The more people that come down there, it's a $5 admission. And then all the proceeds goes to their hockey club. And Adam, let's talk about that club. So you were on the Warriors. That's correct. Uh, you served in Iraq. Thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Now you're playing. Talk about kind of your experience coming back and realizing were you going to start playing hockey again and how you kind of got to that. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the game. Yeah, you know, 9-11 happened while I was in high school and I went to Mount Carmel and played mm -hmm. uh, hockey there. And I joined the Marines right after that and I left. And I took quite some time off while I was deployed to Iraq and, and getting back. And, um, you know, I had my son, my first son, Parker, who was nine, and at five, he started getting hockey again. So kind of like I was working myself to get back into hockey. And um, I started to volunteer at the local organization of the Midwest Blackbirds, and, and the Nihil partnership between them two is great. And then from there, you know, I was looking to like find myself. And um, you know, when you're a veteran, you want to, you, you, it's hard to connect with people, um, especially around something that you may love, right? And that's where I, I was uh, searching, like, what are some of those leagues out there that I could be a part of? And I came across the Chicago Warriors. And the Warriors was truly um, an organization that started in 2015. It uh, focuses on helping veterans um, find something that they can do and love. You know, so we take people that have never played hockey before to those that have played you know, at college level, and we help them um, get back in around a community that can support them. And most of our veterans, um, you know, they've suffered from physical and mental ailments. And so we take anybody in um, that has the disability, and we work with them, both male, female veterans, and it's a, it's a great group of people. Yeah, and as a veteran, I mean, you kind of talked about this just now, but like, why is it so important for like organizations like the NHL to support veterans. Yeah, you know what Bob and Nihil do for us is remarkable. What the Chicago Blackhawks and our partnership with them do is remarkable, and um, it means so much to our service members. A lot of them deal with a lot, and when we have these uh, folks in our community allowing us to give back to our community, it makes these veterans feel um, honored, special, and part of the community. And then from there, you know, we see just more of them wanting to do more. Huh. And it, the, 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 the brotherhood, the sisterhood comes together and we just see um, people that stay with us longer and it also helps unite that love of the game. And, you know, we, we just really uh, appreciate the support that, you know, Bob and I Hill and the Blackhawks have given us. And the best part about this is you can support by going and watching yeah. you guys, obviously, yeah. but also all of the money raised mm -hmm. from this goes back to veterans. Yes, 100%. We, we keep none of it. There is a, a link on our website, actually, mm -hmm. that you can donate if you can't make the game directly to them. And uh, we uh, sell a gate for all the championship games that helps pay for the rink that we rent out the whole two weekends. And their particular game goes all to them. There'll be fundraiser counters that goes all to them. And everything that goes on that weekend for their game will go right to them. Okay, so Adam, you're going to be on the ice, right? Yeah, okay, I'll be out there. let's talk about this, all right? <laughs> so you, the the older guys, I mean, the the veterans are going to be going up against the younger guys. Yeah, the Peoria like, Mustangs, which is a U18 team. Um, <laughs> 
So, okay. you know, we'll, uh, we'll give it our best. And What's uh, the average age of your team? Yeah, that's you know? exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're, we're probably an average age, about 38, 39. Oh, you know? okay. You so, guys got that. You have the experience. Yeah. We do. You we still do. Got, you got, you know, some gas in those legs, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, for us, it's like we're, we just love being on the ice, right? Okay. And we love sharing our story and seeing the fans and, um, and telling. And, and really, ultimately, it's about tracking veterans in right. to give them a place, right? So right. whether we win, whether we lose, like our focus is around the partnership mm. of each other and then just helping more veterans in the outreach. So things like this are remarkable for us pulling more veterans in and teaching them a game that we all love. love that. Oh, that yeah. is amazing. Adam's a nice guy, but I don't think he's going to go easy on that. I won't, <laughs> I won't yeah. be going easy against no, him. I hope no. you're watching. Watch out, AT, you <laughs> Mustangs. All right, Bob, Adam, thank you so much for being here. We thank really you. appreciate it. If you can't attend the game but still want to donate, all the information is there on your screen. And if you want to go to the game, support in person, check it out there for tickets as well. Guys, thanks for being yeah. here. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thank you.